This is an unboxing with a new Hover Air, but with a twist. Because I have no clue what's in this package or which drone I'm getting. It seems as if Zero Zero Robotics randomly sends out different packages to us testers. I hope I will get the Pro Max, but it says Pro here on the outside, so I'm guessing that's what I'm getting. I do hope that I will get a beacon at least. Apparently the beacon does a lot of things, but what I'm most interested in is the tracking function. My review of this drone will be about mountain biking, so that's my angle. I did a review of the Hover Air X1 about a year ago and I had some concerns in that video. So I was somewhat surprised that they wanted to send me this one. I guess I did a fair review after all and I also expressed my hope for the next Hover, which is right here in front of me now. This looks like accessories to me and this is probably the drone itself. It says Pro on the box, as expected. But to be honest, I don't really know what the differences are between the two versions. I assume this is a frame bag for bikes. They look well made, but I don't think I will use them on a mountain bike. Perhaps on a commuter bike, or similar maybe. Here we go. This does look like a beacon, doesn't it? And a couple of controllers too. There is a handlebar mount, another box with some mounts for the beacon and ND filters. I'm guessing that I got a bike kit or something, so that's a good start. Okay, there are two mounts for the beacon in this little box. One is a clip and the wild guess is that the other one will attach to the handlebar mount. Lots of guessing here, because this is no ordinary drone. I can tell you that much. That's magnets under here and a latch. Seems secure enough, but we shall see about that in my review later. This is cool. That's ND filters in four different strengths. I will surely test to see if I can get some motion blur when I go fast. I'm currently selecting a bike to film with. It seems as if I can get my hands on a Canyon Spectral on fly in a nice yellow color, which I think I can do something cool with. Let's hope that the camera in this drone is good enough. I'm hoping 10 bits and a flat picture profile to give me some freedom when grading the footage. This is a very nice case. It almost feels like real leather. So the drone, a charger, two batteries and a plug. I have to try to get a filter on. How do I do this? Okay, I need to remove the protection glass first and then get that ND filter on there somehow. I have to do some practicing I guess. I'm not going into details with the beacon and the controllers here. That have to wait until the review. But there's a whole lot going on here, I can tell you that much. Now I can use this as a regular drone too. The drone is a bit bigger than the old X1 drone and I have a slight problem. I have this fanny pack when I ride and the X1 is in a hard case that can take a crash. I will need a bigger case so I will get one right away. But the Pro fits well in here, so I don't think I have a huge problem fitting everything. I basically only need the beacon and an extra battery in here. The case that the drone came with is unfortunately too big for this fanny pack. And I don't think it can protect the drone when crashing either. And I would probably not use the frame bag. It seems to be of decent quality, but it just isn't a good solution for enthusiastic mountain bike riding. I want to use my fanny pack. I will now put this drone to the very limit, including crashing it and doing some downhill riding. Stay tuned for that review, but that will take a month. I want to do this thoroughly, 